up guys, it's just Mark. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert right now, which is out here, quarantined in Mexico City, my apartment, cute little apartment here. And uh, guys, we're going on some Tinder rampage to show you what you can do and what kind of results you can get when you enroll for our online seduction course. So my good friend, Bradicus, the one only Bradicus. Brad, say hi. Hey guys, what's up? The two of us have created this awesome course called Online Seduction. So sit back, enjoy, and I'm gonna show you this week what we can do when we kill it on Tinder. Oh. Hola, everybody. Hola. I highly recommend you check out How to Win Friends and Influence People by Dale Carnegie. Lee, todo bien? Todo bien. Es tu, tu amiga. Es que yo video tu amiga. Sí. Ok, no. te miro. No. Swipe up. Guys, if you swipe up right now and apply for online mentoring, this girl might let you put your penis inside her. I forgot this girl's name. Fuck. What do I do? Like, I, get, I actually just can't remember her name. All right, guys, I'm hanging out with this really cute girl, and we decided to um, film some stuff. She's actually got some homework for school, where she has to make a video. I'm gonna help her make a video with my equipment here. Let's do it. <laughs> Hola. Alright guys, so I'm just in the shower, I just had a girl leave my place, and uh, two other girls text me and they're like, hey, we want to come over uh, and have a threesome, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, I'm calling them an Uber, it costs about 22 US dollars um, from another fucking city to come see me. <laughs> Pretty ridiculous, but they essentially promised me a threesome, they're sending me dudes and stuff like that, and they're like best friends, so I'm like, fuck it, let's see how it goes. Alright guys, decided to go for a little walk. Actually gonna be meeting up with a friend soon near Bella Artis. Check this out. Very beautiful scenic location. I think it's my friend. That's Bea Artis. Hola! Come on stop! <laughs> of a girl I just hooked up with. Super cute girl, okay? Check this chick out, and we're gonna show you. This girl's clearly very attractive, and I saw her, I'm like, okay, let's do it. She's okay, I'm like, okay. She's got a nice body, she's cute, she's young, she's feminine. She actually, okay, so she actually messaged me saying, hola, and I was like, hey, what's up, you're cute, do you wanna hang out today? And she's like, cool, let's do it. Uh, well, she said, today where, but I take that as, cool, let's do it, because you gotta realize that She's not saying no. She's not saying she's busy. She's not giving you an objection. So I said, come over for a drink, staying in the luxury Airbnb in Centro. And I have tequila. I will sanitize everything. I don't have coronavirus. I know it's crazy and random eating me, but it'll be fun. I'll make sure you feel safe and comfortable. And if you want, I'll call an Uber for you. She's like, okay, I like the idea. So it's good. She says, I like the idea, but I'm busy tomorrow, I'm free. So I'm like, cool. Uh, I'm busy today as well. Why don't we uh, do tomorrow? Or why don't we meet later today? She says, oh, we'll see you tomorrow. I'm like, tomorrow might be busy. I really was trying to push for the date that night. And uh, she ended up texting me. So she actually texted me saying, hey, what's up? It's Pamela. I'm like, hey, beautiful. You're honestly cheating me gorgeous. I really want to hang out with you. She's like, me too. Tomorrow will be perfect. I'm like, cool. Let's meet tomorrow. And then uh, this morning, I sent her a message. She didn't see it. So I sent her one, a voice message a few hours later. Hey, Pamela. Hope all is well. I'm looking forward to seeing you today. Let me know what time you want to meet up. You're really cute, and I think we'll really get along. And uh, I'll make sure that you have a great time and you feel comfortable and safe around me. Uh, also, if you want, we could drink a little bit of tequila and stuff. Let me know if you want to come through. I'm free in the next um, hour or so, and after that, I'll be free for the day. So, yeah, let me know. So pretty straightforward, just setting up logistics and that kind of thing. She said, hey, good morning. Do you have gin? And I said, I might. And I was like, oh, I only have tequila. She's like, oh, I only drink gin. So I'm like, cool, I'll order some Uber Eats. And I found the cheapest gin I could find uh, on an app on, on Uber Eats. And I went to 
the bottle shop on Uber Eats and it was like $10, it cost like nothing, had it delivered to the door. Um, then I sent her my address. She said, I need to Uber my house. They changed my clothes to go to your home. She, and then she said, you send me? I'm like, cool, I'll call you an Uber from your house when you're ready. And then she sent me two different addresses, which were confusing. What was really confusing is she was essentially trying to get me to pay a $15 Uber from her friend's house to her house and then one to mine. So I didn't like that because one time I actually ended up hooking up with a stripper and then the next day she asked me to call her an Uber from her friend's house to her place and then to mine saying she'd pay me back. And then she just ghosted me even though we'd already had sex. And she had my jacket, she had my um, fake Burberry scarf. She had a bunch of shit of mine and she also had my assistant's coat. So I, don't, I didn't like that because you know, I don't wanna get used for a fucking Uber. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I uh, made a bunch of excuses told her I couldn't, I was like, oh yeah, I'll call you an Uber um, from where you're at to my place. And then we went back and forth for a while. She was trying to convince me to call her an Uber. It was kind of really annoying. And then I told her, oh, my Uber isn't working. My card's declined, but I'll try a different app. And then she said, oh, my friend asked if she could borrow an Uber to go home. And she said, yes. So, so essentially the friend ended up getting her Uber home and then I ended up bringing her an Uber to my place. So my impression was this girl was going to be a gold digging stupid fucking bitch. <laughs> Not to sound like an asshole, but like, dude, I've dealt with fucking gold diggers in the past and I fucking hate that shit. And uh, yeah, she ended up being a really cool girl. So she came over, um, I called her uh, a Dee Dee instead because obviously I've got to roll with the punches that, you know, hey, my Uber doesn't work. I got her to meet up and um, you know, she came over at 5 p.m. She left at about 9 p.m. So she was over for a few hours. It was great and uh, good time. Hello, everybody. Hello. Say hello. How are you? Fine. Speak English. Uh, she doesn't speak English. Where are you from? Colombia. Ooh. Wait, 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 wait. Jesus, bless this meal in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Señor, te damos gracias por los alimentos gracias, que nos das papi. el día de hoy. Hey, are you Justin's girlfriend? Oh, Justin, your girlfriend. Guys, I'm just hanging out here with uh, my cousin. It's my cousin. She's actually my cousin. And my sister, mi hermana. Okay, it's mi hermana. Amy Prima. <laughs> hola, everybody. Say hola. And I actually didn't realize how hot she was, so I decided I might as well film it for the product. All right, super cute, tattoos, 21 years old, and I just sent an Uber to go pick her up. So, uh, yeah, she's a cute girl. She is on the way. So we've been chatting back and forth for a little bit. Uh, we never were actually able to meet up, but when I messaged her, she pretty much was super down to meet up. She said, I really like to meet you just because my profile, it actually wasn't even optimized and now it is optimized, but, uh, it wasn't optimized at first and I was still able to have her super interested, um, uh, by doing a bit of demonstrating high value saying I make YouTube videos, run a few businesses, etc." And then when I told her, when I sent her voice messages, you guys get it, right? Just. Damn the girl, I'm in Mexico, speaking Spanish, and she was out of town, but uh, she pretty much said, you know, as soon as she's in this town, we'll meet up, and then she tried to meet up with me a couple times. I kind of was hanging out with my girlfriend, so I was pretty busy, but, um, you know, she kept making plans, kept sending her mass messages, and we're finally meeting up. Say hola. Hola. So I'm just coming home. I'm just coming home right now. What the hell is going on here? Dude, what the hell? You're cheating on me, I told you! I told you not to do this! You motherfucker! So Justin, these two girls were about to kiss, I think. And don't say nothing! Justin's here. They're about to kiss. They're about to kiss. And there's Justin. Getting excited. What looks weird here? You're in the army, dude. Swipe up. To whatever. Oh, you don't Hola. Oh. Interesting, okay. She gave me a baby. Hola, Lily. ¿Cómo estás? <laughs> Timido? It's solo tu, tu amiga. It's tu amiga. Say hola. Hola. 
Buenos días. ¿Con hambre? ¿Quiero comida? ¿No? ¿Por qué no? Okay. Yeah. Brad, what do you think? <laughs> Telling a story early on in the interaction is a good way to show value. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure to do me a favor right now. Smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. If this video gets a thousand likes, we will do a part two, and I'll actually be releasing some secrets for my online seduction course on YouTube for free, just to show you guys what kind of results you guys can get yourselves and how easy it actually is. So go ahead and smash the like button right now, and uh, we'll get back to the video. Hi. Hello. Oh, I have to cut my own head off. So look, I feel like this. So you see you? I have to cut my own head off. I go, oh, hi. And then I have to cut your head off. The tallest one. Should we make a porno? Let's make a porno tonight. All right, guys. So a uh, stock standard number that we've acquired from Tinder, right? You know, Tinder openers, whatnot. This girl says, hey, I'm like, want to come for drinks, uh, but I'm a Kwana de Vaca, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, hey, like, let's come over and let's make TikTok videos, right? I really don't know when I'm going to go to Mexico again because the situation is so fucking critic, you know? So then I put on my broadcast list. So, you know, every now and then I'm saying broadcasts and whatnot. These are all my broadcast messages, right? So send this to my kind of roster. So she's been on the broadcast list for a while and uh, she wouldn't even respond. Then she randomly said hi, you know, back on the list a little bit, get engaged. It's really cool how sometimes a girl won't literally respond to like, what is this, like fucking 20 messages, right? And then all of a sudden, she, you know, she's fucking texting me and she's saying your address and stuff. And then she pretty much was like, um, she, she FaceTimed me and I was chatting with her and her sister and I was like, hey, ask this sister if she finds me attractive because I honestly thought her sister was way hotter. They're not actually sisters, they're best friends but they're calling each other sisters. And they start sending me these photos and I'm like, okay, nice bodies we're working with, you know what I mean? Some nice bums. And I was like, okay, this is good, this is good, right? And then I was like, okay, look, the one's kind of thick. Then I was like, essentially they were saying, hey, like, can you come over, we'll drink Bama Sapphire. I'm like, yeah, only if we have a threesome. And then she said, we will all three together. So boom, you know what I mean? And then she they sent me some nudes. I don't want to show it obviously, but um, yeah, now they're in route. So um, a lot of back and forth and whatnot, but yeah. Hey. Good morning, everybody. I hope all's well with you guys. I'm super tired. You having some trouble over there, are you? Troubles. Hey, bonita. Hey. They're having difficulties. Tu eres muy, muy, muy bonita, pero soy muy bonito. Más. Soy muy, muy bonito. Soy muy sexy. Soy muy perfecto. Hola. Hi. Hola. Oh my God, daddy. Guys, what are you up to? We're just corning teening. Yeah, I know. Brad, Brad, I, I'm trying to get Brad on a vegan diet. He's eating this delicious place where you can eat the spoon. Ooh, nice. Hola, everybody. How is your day going? Hola. You're very cute. You have a very nice face. You guys, I bumped into Brad on the way home. Good old Brad. And uh, four of us are hanging out. Brad's on a day. I'm on a day. It's cool. It's cool. And, um, yeah. Hello. Oh, guys, what are we doing? We are filming. Business marketing. We're, we're making a marketing video business about marketing, business guys. and wholesaling products and funny stuff and interesting fun stuff.
Hola everybody! Guys, what do you think? Do you think this girl's cute or no? Yes! Say hola! Guys, what's up? I just met up with this girl. Uh, it's a very nice day here in Mexico. It's getting very warm and quarantine's gonna end soon. Apparently it ends on Monday. Looking forward to quarantine ending. So my message is rolling in. It's one o'clock right now. And I just sent a broadcast message to all these chicks and like the message is fucking rolling in, dude. Excuse me. Oh, look, guapo. Damn. This is fucked. Look how many girls are messaging me. Like, this is actually ridiculous. Dude, this is like, it's getting ridiculous. Look at this. It's just like, bing, bing. When do you want to meet me? Wait, when do you meet me? Real good city of X, dude. What? How do you know who's who? I don't. I, I name them all the same. <laughs> Say hola. Come on, Stas. It's her shirt. She in the bathroom, dog. Hola. Hola, papi. Say hola. 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 Huh. Alright guys, I introduced this girl to Brad. So now he's fucking her right now. So I figured I would do a quick little um, kind of just show you what's up, what it is. So usually when I match a girl on Tinder, I don't even look at her profile. I honestly just send them the same shit. And um, I mean, I thought this girl was cute enough. And I saw these photos and I'm like, okay. I mean, she's obviously down to fuck. And then I just sent her the copy and paste. She said, hey, you're really sexy, babe. Um, she's like, yeah, I'd love to. I'd love to, but I don't have WhatsApp. Um, so here's my Instagram. All right, guys, I'm just gonna quickly show you how I actually got this girl. So um, she would have had my number on WhatsApp and I would have sent a broadcast message to all the girls saying, hey, follow me on Instagram. So I said, hey, what's up? Let's grab a drink. She said, maybe. And I was like, hey, listen, you can think of every reason not to live your life. You gotta think of reasons to actually live your life and have fun. There are a million reasons, blah, 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 blah. So this is what we call an overcoming of an objection. So what we're doing here is we're overcoming the objection. We're really pinpointing what her objection is. And this is a default objection handler I use for almost every girl. Um, and then she says that she can meet me tomorrow for a couple hours, nothing more. I'm like, that's cool. I'll send you an Uber. And then, um, yeah, I said, you don't have to do anything you don't want to, don't have to feel comfortable, et cetera, et cetera. And then when she messaged me today, she said, oh, who's that girl? And I said, oh, it's my friend's girlfriend. Um, and I was like, hey, come over, tequila. And she agreed. And then she asked me, what, wait, what's this? So she sent, she sent me a screen recording of one of my, co uh, my coaching highlights, one of my um, story highlights on Instagram. And I told her, oh, it's because I'm a stripper <laughs> and I teach people how to be strippers. So that's why I told her to overcome that objection. And then um, I essentially got her comfortable enough to making her feel uh, safe to come over. Um, I let her know, like, listen, I just make dumb videos. I know you're shy. I'm shy. It's cool. I'll make you feel safe and comfortable. You don't have to feel shy around me. I make funny videos. Here's my TikTok. I didn't send her my YouTube channel, obviously. And then um, I'm like, oh, I'm a male stripper, which I'm not. I'm fucking lying. Uh, and then I was like, hey, cool, come over. And then, yep, essentially, the rest is logistics. It's just logistics and making sure she feels comfortable, okay? And I'm like, hey, listen, you gotta push your comfort zone. We'll have a good time together. I wanna meet you because you're beautiful. Yada, yada, yada. It's just more comfort building. You gotta give her time. And then she was also getting ready during this entire time. She's like, okay, listen, I'm hungry. She's like, I'm hungry. I'll come if you get me food. I'm like, cool. Because Uber Eats in Mexico is super cheap. So I figured, you know, sushi will cost like a few dollars. No stress. All right. And then I sent her a selfie of me looking jacked as fuck uh, from when I was working out a lot. So, you know, it just works. And the rest is history. Sent her my address, Ubers, etc. And, yeah, that's it. She was in the Uber. And then I, she tells me she's here. That was it. 
guys, look at that. Ah! Holy fuck! <laughs> hey, Brad, did we get a lot of girls this week? Mm, it was okay. I would say it was like an average week, but yeah, I wouldn't say we did bad. Damn! Damn! Whoa, guys, Mexico is insane. Guys, my name is Justin Mark. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert. And guys, to be honest, if I'm a five foot four Indian, killing it with hot Latinas every single day, there's no reason you can't too. Make sure to check out the online instruction course at this link right here, online-instruction.com. Check it out. And even if you don't want to buy the course, you can still sign up for a free email list. We're giving you free value, free content. It'll help you change your life and change your dating life. So guys, check it out. Anybody can get results on these dating apps, even during the coronavirus quarantine, even during the crazy year of 2020. Nobody has an excuse because, I mean, I've beat your excuses. There's tons of other guys who beat your excuses. So cut the excuses, check out the online instruction course, and we'll see you guys there. My name is Justin Mark. I'm an international dating coach and relationship expert. And guys, if you have any questions, feel free to shoot me a message on Instagram at DrunkJustin, and uh, I will reply to any message. So shoot me a message there, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Also, guys, don't forget to smash the like button, and make sure to subscribe to me, Justin Mark, and I'll see you guys soon.